We were talking about this at uh, during uh, the green room during the shows this weekend. We were, there was like a generational rift in like what we find funny or how comedy is uh, projected into the world. Uh-huh. Okay, um, I'm 39, right? So when I'm growing up, people on TV that were funny were trying to be funny. Yeah, Jim Carrey was trying to be funny. Everybody was trying to be funny. And I think it was Derek who said this, or maybe it was you that said it. And it was an interesting observation. He's like, yeah, I think The Office changed that. I go, what do you mean? Oh, I fucking love The Office. Exactly. <laughs> and what is the difference with The Office, right? The difference with The Office, like in Seinfeld, Kramer is trying to walk in the room funny. Yeah. He's walking in the room. He's trying to be crazy. Laugh like he, track. And there's yeah. a laugh track. It's going, hey, you need a laugh now. And then The Office comes out, and that motherfucker, Michael Scott, is not trying to be funny. No. He is just that weird kind of almost cringe guy. The things yeah. he's saying are cringy. And then the generation that watches that show and subsequent shows finds cringe stuff really funny because that's what curated their sense of humor. It's funny when someone is not trying to be funny and they do something so awkward it's hilarious. Yeah. And a lot of your pranks are the people think you're dead serious. So we're laughing at those people reacting to you being cringe in that moment. Yeah, a lot of people, they say, like, uh, they'll be like, man, this was a hard watch. Good job, Jadeon. Like, Great job. <laughs> That's what people like. And it's a generational rift, and it might have been The Office. There are other things that are obviously inspired by The Office, other films. But I didn't even realize it until we were having that discussion in the green room, like how our generation, Jamie Foxx was trying to be funny in the Jamie Foxx show. Yeah, so funny. Every time he came on screen, and he was succeeded at it, he was fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I wonder how that affects how you guys will do stand-up. Because stand-up isn't, isn't trying to not be funny. You could make fun of stand-up, and those are like the alternative guys. Sometimes they have some success. But stand-up needs to be so mainstream for them, them to succeed. Uh-huh. The entire population needs to know what stand-up is for somebody to be making fun of it. Yeah. Usually comedy's pretty fringe, so to make fun of it, you're just drafting off of the people who know what it is. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, like, like for example, let's say somebody was, like, making fun of streamers. First, okay. streamers needs to be mainstream in order for us to get the jokes of making fun of a streamer. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if streaming is fringe, which now is very popular, but if it's fringe, how many people can even get the joke of you making fun so of it? So everybody got to be in on it to get it when you make fun of yeah. it. When you're making fun of it. Okay, yeah. yeah. But it's interesting, The Office. So you came up on that. That's the- Oh, bro, I probably watched The Office, like, 15 times over. Bro. It's, it's, I think it's one of the, because it, it doesn't try. You know, it's no laugh track. Exactly it's no, it's the, the, the zoom ins, the awkwardness. And I, I, I guess I low key try to do that with the videos. It's just like, oh, it's awkward. Like, you know, it's not, I'm not necessarily trying to be funny. It's just like, how can we make the situation just like, so uncomfortable? Just awkward. Yeah. And then it's just like, it's just fun like that because that's, that's what's funny to me. Yeah, that's my type of sense of humor. I, I'm not as good at that. I remember Bridesmaids is so built on just being awkward. There's moments where I'm like, yo, f- I can't do this. Like, it just change the channel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, now, I don't know if you've seen that, but there's a moment where they're like trying to one up each other. These two bridesmaids are trying to like one up each other in their wedding speeches for the bride. And it just keeps getting more and more awkward and more and more embarrassing for them. And you're just, I'm watching. I'm like, bro, I can't make it through this. I fucking can't handle it. Yeah. The office, there's moments where I'm like, yo, I can't watch this episode. It's too yeah, awkward. Scott's tots. Scott's tots is too <laughs> awkward. Yeah. No, oh, that, that shit was awesome. hilarious. All time. Great. This episode, you haven't seen The Office. Michael Scott promises all these kids when they're like five years old, if you go to college, I'll pay for it. If you graduate high school, I'll pay for your college. They all graduate, throw him this huge thing. And then he has to tell them, I'm not paying for your college. I'm not. I just can't. <laughs> So that's the whole episode. There is no heartwarming moment. That's the episode. It's, I can't do it. I skipped that episode. I can't do it. He was like, I thought I was going to be like a multimillionaire by the time I was 35. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to do it. And then he gave them all computer batteries because that's what he could afford. He was like, you guys all have chargers for your batteries. I didn't computer. even remember that because I can't watch the episode And they made again. him a theme song when he first came in. Like They were happy for happy to see him. Yeah. There's, uh, there's so many different examples of that. I, I wish I could find some more shows like The Office. You ever watch Nathan For You? Nathan oh, is fucking man. great, dude. Nathan's, Nathan, um, he he reminds me of, you know, Nico? Mm-mm. Nico Amalana? Oh, yeah. Is that the British dude? I, yeah. I, thought, I, I thought, thought you were setting him up, bro. Yeah. I thought you <laughs> almost had him. Oh, no. I thought you almost had him, and I was about to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! With like, a do-rag on? 
Yeah. 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 But the, yeah, like Nico makes videos like that where it's just like over the top and like, like I love, but I just can't do that stuff because it's like whenever I like think too much about it, it never comes out good for me. Mm. So it's just kind of like we just run and gun.